Hello, my name is Carl Tolgo, and I'm a senior program manager on the Dynamics AX development team. In this video, you're going to see how your organization can automate and adapt key business processes using workflow in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. Microsoft recognizes the crucial role processes play in driving the performance of organizations. Process is, in fact, one of the three pillars of what we call the dynamic business, along with people and ecosystem. Efficient and effective processes are therefore vital to organizations and the organization's value chain. Globalization, competition, and the economic situation have one common characteristic, change. This requires organizations to become more agile in order to deal with these changes. The value of workflow is that it helps organizations automate their processes and then adapt them to deal with changes that arise with ease. If we think about the different roles that people in an organization play in automating and adapting business processes, then there are three key ones. There is the business user, who here is represented by Phyllis, who's an accounting manager, the business application developer, in this case represented by Isaac, and the IT manager, represented by Tim. So Phyllis, as an accounting manager, owns a number of key business processes and has an interest in automating those processes using workflow, but without coding. Phyllis also participates in workflows as needed, for example, as a reviewer or as an approver. And Phyllis also periodically would want to assess process performance to identify potential improvements that can be made and then be able to make those improvements easily. Isaac supports Phyllis by being able to implement new workflows in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 efficiently and effectively, and also by debugging running workflows using familiar tools. Tim is responsible for supporting both Isaac and Phyllis, Phyllis by being able to set up the workflow infrastructure effectively and also managing multiple environments which contain workflow. So let's focus on the business user and show how somebody like Phyllis can actually adapt a business process to different requirements. So here we can see the what we call workflow list page in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. And this shows, in this case, Phyllis, what workflows exist in her specific area of the application. If Phyllis wants to create new workflows, then all she has to do is click New, and this will show her a list of all the available workflow types that can be used to automate business processes. However, in this case, what we want to do is to show how Phyllis would modify an existing workflow. And we have one here, which is a workflow that automates the purchase requisition review process. So let's take a look at it. So opening this up brings up the, the new graphical workflow editor that's been introduced in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. And so we can see here uh, a canvas that shows us the actual workflow itself, which consists of a bunch of activities that are linked in a certain way to represent the flow that's desired. So these activities are based on the elements that you can see on the left-hand side here, which include approvals, automated tasks, various different flow controls that can, use, that can control the flow of the workflow, line item workflows that can act both on header and line records, and tasks. So we can see here that we have a conditional decision as part of this purchase requisition workflow. And Phyllis needs to make a change to this so she can easily see the properties associated with this conditional decision. In this case, there's a condition based on an approval amount. And so she can easily modify the amount if that's required by changing the value in the condition editor. And she could also add various conditions here with ease and without coding. So next, Phyllis wants to add a level of approval to the approval element that we have here already. So we can drill into the approval, and then we can simply drag a step and drop it next to the existing step, and this becomes step two. And we can see here that some information is missing. 
So we can go into the details of the step. And here, we can add things like the work item subject and work item instructions that will help end users be able to participate effectively in the workflow and to take the actions that they need to take. What we also want to do here is define who will be assigned to this step. And so there are various mechanisms that we can use, including assigning to participants, hierarchy, and even workflow users. We're going to pick participant here. And out of all the different ways we can assign participants, we're going to, we're going to choose roles and then pick accounting supervisor. So this means that this step will be assigned to accounting supervisors. Okay, let's go back to the canvas. And we can see here that the approval currently routes to the end of the workflow. But what we want to do here is add an automated task which processes the approved purchase requisition. So I can simply drag this automated task to the canvas, and then I can connect it to the end activity of the workflow. So Phyllis has made three changes now. And in order to affect the changes, she can click Save and Close and optionally put some comments in here to catalog the changes that have been made, and then click on OK. This is going to prompt her to activate the workflow if the, if the workflow is ready for use. And activating the workflow makes it available to everybody in the system to use. So in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012, we've made a number of enhancements to the workflow management system, including adding things like branching and parallel elements, which we've seen in the, in the graphical workflow editor. We've added the concept of an automated task. We've added support for handling line item workflows and support for assigning to a new concept called work item queues. All of these things provide an improved ability to model real life business processes. And that's a great benefit to, to Phyllis. We've already seen the new graphical workflow editor and this provides a streamlined workflow creation and maintenance experience. We've also added a number of workflow performance reports. And these reports are based on the tracking data that's accumulated from workflows that execute in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. And these performance reports can provide insight into the performance of the workflows and therefore the business processes, and potentially identify opportunities for improving and adapting those processes. So those three things benefit Phyllis primarily. For Isaac, we have introduced a number of workflow development wizards. And these help to create brand new workflows. So, and that's, that will involve a lot less time expended by, um, by Isaac. Finally, we have integrated the workflow runtime that's responsible for executing all the workflows into our application server, or AOS. And for Tim, that provides a much simplified installation and configuration experience, and also reduces total cost of ownership. So along with all these enhancements, there are approximately 60 available workflow types in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. And these span a number of modules in this release, including project management and accounting, accounts receivable, accounts payable, budgeting, and general ledger. And so these workflow types provide a way for a business user to create workflows that automate business processes in a much quicker fashion. In summary, we've worked hard to deliver key enhancements to workflow in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 that can help you automate and adapt the processes within your organization. And I hope that you'll explore how you can benefit from these in more detail. For more information about workflow, and the many other features in this release, please check out our product page. Thanks for watching this video.